Hey, so what we're going to do this time is we're going to make a second person that we can play against, sort of like AI, but we're kind of going to cheat a little bit with it. And we're going to use what we call the take recorder to record another version of that. So you'll need to go to your plugins um, and get take recorder. So just edit plugins, search for take recorder, enable it. So once you've restarted it, um, we should now be able to access that and do things with it. So, oh, I'm just going to turn off my intro as well. Um, in a previous video, we made an intro, which we auto-play, and I'm just going to turn it off. There we go, we've got this guy, we've still got our widget and everything, um, it's fine, we can work around that. So we're going to, basically, we're going to record ourselves playing the map, and then play that back, and it'll almost be like a person to compete against. So let's set that up now, shall we? So I'm gonna to go to Window, Cinematics, and turn on Take Recorder. This is going to bring up this other window, this floating round window, and yeah, this will be fine. So with your play selected, um, we are going to press play, and then while that's playing, we're gonna to go to Source, From Actor, and because we've got him selected, he should appear at the top. And ultimately, we're just going to leave the settings as they are for now and let's hit the big old record button on the right hand side and record a quick run through of your game. So for the sake of test I might not complete the whole map but let's see how far we get anyway. Okay, well that'll do, because um, I died. And then we'll click Browse to, and that'll open it up. And in your, you'll notice it's creating a new folder called Cinematics and Takes, and we've got this take here. So we're gonna need a level sequence to put this in. So I'm gonna go to Cinematics, and we've already got one, but we'll make a new level sequence. And I've already got a Cinematics folder. Um, in fact, I've got two. And I'm gonna call this Play Fake AI. Save that, open it up, and we're going to add a subscene track. I'm going to click the plus, and we're going to look for the one called um, third person character, because that's the one that we've just recorded, right? And if we go back to the beginning space, what should happen is when we scrub through our timeline, we should see our player run off and do everything that he's going to do which is awesome, that's cool, that's just great. Um, so, let's find where we saved this to, which was in my sequences and play fake AI. I'm gonna drag it to my world, and I'm gonna tick on autoplay. So I'll turn on autoplay, and what I'm actually gonna do as well is move my starting location just a bit so we're not overlapping. Ooh, <laughs> we can see him in the sky, but it's fine, we can deal with that in a minute. And he's run off and he's gone and can't actually see him anymore. What happened to him? What happened, fella? Where'd you go? Let's find out. Um, so we let's scrub back and see what happened. So he runs off. He's good. He's happy. Oh, of course. Um, you'll notice that the actual recording's a lot longer than what it played. So I'm just going to zoom out a bit and extend this. Put you there. Cool. And let's just move you over there so we don't have the random floaty one. Let's try this again. And then he gets a head start. So because we've got that um, cinematic, intro cinematic where we can't actually move, basically he gets a head start, which is a bit unfair for us. So what happened, we can either just not have it on autoplay or we could just move the whole thing I don't know how long that intro lasts. Um, well, it lasts longer than that. So I'm just gonna sort of try and match it up. And now he's sort of just gonna appear, but... Okay, we're a bit closer. This is a bad way to probably do this.
Um, well, the alternate way to do this then, let's actually just look at that. Let's turn off autoplay, make sure we've got it selected, go to our level blueprint. Um, where's our... So here we've got our intro, and then we've got this delay that we create, and we do all these and we do all these. Let's just get a reference to our fake AI, and let's just play. Type in play, dragging off it, play sequence, boom, 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 hopefully... That should be jobs are good in. That was not jobs are good. In. Oh, it's probably because we've still got this here. Let me just put that back. Sorry. Um, I think that'll be what it was. There we go. And now we can race him. Take like a different path. But you know, it sort of makes it a little bit more interesting. We've got someone to compete and play against. Um, it might also be a bit more visually interesting if I change my character model now or at least change like the color in him or something. And I'm not going to make the same mistake he did. Oh, I think because um, he overlapped it, it moved spawn to me as well. So when you record your take, because um, obviously we're using the same blueprint and when he fell through to the respawn point, it respawned me. When you're recording a your take, just try not to die. <laughs> You'll be okay. Ah. Well, there you go. That's how we can cheat and record ourselves some quick, simple AI. Thanks for watching.